living here on this earth for a hundred years plus has been amazing. Absolutely amazing. Meet Dr. Gladys McGarry, a remarkable 102-year-old individual who has revolutionized the field of medicine. Known as the mother of holistic medicine, she has dedicated her life to a healing approach that embraces the interconnectedness of mind, body, and spirit. Join us as we delve into Dr. Gladys' daily diet and cherished exercises, even at her remarkable age. First, let's get to know her with her achievements. As a co-founder of the American Holistic Medical Association and the Academy of Parapsychology and Medicine, she has spearheaded advancements in holistic practices. As her golden years, she remains active and engaged, recalling her journey to Afghanistan at 86 years old to assist women in childbirth, riding a donkey with the support of another woman. This year at the age of 102, she hasn't stopped sharing her wisdom and published a new book, The Well-Lived Life, a 102-year-old doctor's six secrets to health and happiness at every age. Despite facing personal challenges, such as surviving both thyroid and breast cancer, experiencing divorce at 70 after a 46-year partnership, and losing a child to breast cancer, Dr. Gladys maintains her resilience. She continues to serve as a consulting doctor and writer, finding joy in riding a tricycle around her Arizona home. So, what is the secret behind Dr. Gladys' health and happiness? What she eats in a day. Good balanced diet, plenty of water, plenty of live foods and foods that make you really know that this is good for me. But pay attention to that because some foods that are good for one person are not good for another person. Her mornings start with a simple yet meaningful routine, rising from bed, warmly embracing the new day with a morning prayer, descending the stairs, and savoring a nourishing breakfast of fiber-rich raisin bran accompanied by refreshing prune juice. Raisin bran offers a wealth of health benefits thanks to its nutritious content. Just a single serving of this cereal can supply around one-sixth of the recommended daily fiber intake. Fiber plays a crucial role in maintaining digestive health, promoting regular bowel movements, and even offering protection against colon cancer. Prune juice, derived from dried plums, or prunes, contains a range of nutrients that contribute to overall well-being. Prunes serve as an excellent source of energy due to their high sugar content, while their low glycemic index means they won't cause a rapid spike in blood sugar levels. Additionally, prunes boast high fiber content, supporting regular bowel movements and aiding in digestion. These dried plums also provide a valuable source of potassium, an electrolyte vital for various essential bodily functions. From digestion and heart rhythm to nerve impulses, muscle contractions, and blood pressure regulation, potassium plays a crucial role. It's worth noting that both prune juice and raisin bran can be high in sugar, so individuals with diabetes should exercise caution when consuming it. She also enjoys a cup of coffee and goes about her simple, routine day. When noon arrives, it's time for a well-balanced lunch that often features a delightful salad or occasionally a heartier dish. Following this nourishing meal, she indulges in a restful hour-long nap, rejuvenating both her body and spirit. As the evening unfolds, Dr. McGarry opts for a lighter dinner such as some kind of soup to ensure a peaceful night's sleep, avoiding the discomfort of a full stomach. With bedtime scheduled at 8 p.m., she prioritizes ample rest, recognizing that as we age, the need for sleep may decrease, yet the importance of rejuvenation remains constant. She understands that a healthy diet is important for good health but doesn't recommend any particular way of eating or staying active. The great-great-grandmother says she eats what she wants to eat, including chocolate cake and an occasional hamburger. It's the routine, and I think it works for me. It's important for each one to find what works for us. Hydration. Throughout the day, Dr. McGarry remains mindful of her hydration, ensuring she stays adequately replenished. This commitment to maintaining her body's hydration levels reflects her holistic approach to well-being. The doctor explained that not hydrating ourselves adequately can lead to a myriad of problems down the line. Without sufficient water, it can cause memory issues, confusion, and other health issues. Throughout the day she keeps her hands and her mind busy. At the impressive age of 102, Dr. Gladys McGarry keeps her mind sharp and her hands active throughout the day. One of her cherished practices is knitting, a hobby that not only keeps her hands engaged but also allows her to create thoughtful gifts for others. While she acknowledges that she can no longer knit intricate patterns due to her eyesight, she joyfully knits smaller items that bring joy to those she gives them to. By occupying her hands with knitting, she avoids falling into the trap of spending excessive time on her cell phone, recognizing the potential tension it can cause. 
Additionally, Dr. Gladys continues to consult and remains dedicated to the holistic approach to medicine that she helped popularize in the United States during the 1970s. Emphasizing the importance of treating the whole person, she acknowledges the significance of considering mental, social, and physical well-being when addressing distressing symptoms. Dr. Gladys firmly believes that this comprehensive approach is instrumental in facilitating true healing. During her leisure moments, Dr. McGarry indulges in audiobooks and meaningful conversations with friends. Aging experts emphasize the importance of such activities for human happiness and even suggest that they can contribute to a longer and more fulfilling life. Furthermore, Dr. McGarry recently underwent a stem cell infusion. Influx of stem cells. A procedure she believes has positively impacted her vitality. While scientists are still gathering evidence to determine the precise effects of this technique on aging, Dr. McGarry remains optimistic and eagerly looks toward the future. Exercise. If you stop moving, you die. At some point during the day, Dr. Gladys McGarry makes it a point to achieve her daily goal of 3,800 steps, relying on her trusted walker for support. How many steps do you aim for each day? 3,800. Not every day, but pretty much every day. Rather than confining herself to a structured routine, she prefers to wander around her cherished home, finding solace in the familiar surroundings that bring her comfort and peace. In addition to her walker, Dr. McGarry has an endearing tricycle that adds an extra dose of delight to her daily routine. Massage. Dr. Gladys incorporates a weekly full-body massage into her wellness regimen, understanding the profound benefits it offers. Beyond the physical aspect of moving lymph and nourishing her cells, she appreciates the deep nourishment it provides to her mind and soul. Dr. Gladys strongly believes that everyone deserves the comforting touch of others, whether through professional bodywork or simply by curling up with a loved one or a furry companion. Embracing the power of human connection, Dr. McGarry ensures that she regularly engages in warm hugs with those around her. Throughout her week, she is fortunate enough to receive numerous heartwarming embraces, finding solace and happiness in each one. According to Dr. Gladys, the happiest and healthiest individuals she knows possess the remarkable ability to let go of things or experiences that no longer serve them. Dwelling on the same thoughts repeatedly is akin to self-torture, as life is too short for such rumination. She says creating a 10-year plan is critical for healthy aging. Dr. Gladys firmly believes that creating a 10-year plan is an essential aspect of healthy aging. Every morning, she takes the time to connect with her friend Rose, discussing and refining her own 10-year plan. Dr. McGarry emphasizes the paramount importance of discovering one central purpose, the driving force that gives life meaning and fulfillment. She refers to it as a personal juice, a mission that fuels her actions and inspires her to make a positive impact on the world. At present, her own mission revolves around envisioning better ways for people to coexist and care for one another. About your 10-year plan. I think the world needs a village for living medicine, a place where people who believe in love and life as the healing aspects of, of all things. A 10-year plan makes space for everything, she wrote in the book. It's a far enough reach that it keeps our life force activated. Yet it's close enough that we can achieve it, dust ourselves off, and plan anew. She doesn't worry about what her own final number of years on Earth may end up to be. Instead, she keeps her eyes trained on what's coming next. I still think I've got work to do, and I'm gonna keep on working at it.